God bless each and every one of you. This is the Word of Power Gospel Hour. This is Reverend Ronald Davis, Bishop Ronald Davis. I'm the bishop and the pastor of Word of Spirit of Life Church. We just moved locations, and our new church is located at 6502 Vander Avenue. 6502 Vander Avenue. It's located in Oklahoma. If you'd like to come and visit our church, we welcome you out. We would be blessed to have you. And we pray to be a blessing to you. I feel like our hearts are right with God, and I feel like we're in the ministry for the right reason. And I'm not here to toot my horn, but God took God two years to deal with me to uh, pastor because I didn't think I was ready. Because you're dealing with people. And I want to deal with them the way God wants me to deal with them. I want to be a good shepherd. Amen. It took God two years. To get, I was an evangelist. It took him two years to get me to pastor. But since I have, he's blessed me. We've got a new church. It's twice the size. 6502 Vander Avenue. If you go out the outer loop uh, and come out to Smyrna and make a right off of Smyrna off the outer loop. And it's the first street off of uh, outer loop on Smyrna on your left. Vander Avenue. And our address is 6502. It's a blue building, a blue church. We welcome you to come out. There's been lots of miracles. The Holy Spirit is really going to work to those that are yielded to Him in this hour in the body of Christ. God is pouring out His anointing on vessels that are humble and obedient. Amen. And He's pouring out His power. He's getting ready to manifest Himself as God into this world. First to His church, then through His church, through those vessels that are yielded and obedient. Amen. We have a prayer service on Tuesday night at 7 o'clock if you'd like to come out. We have a Holy Spirit Miracle Night at 7 o'clock on Friday evening. You say, why do you have services like that? Well, why not? What better thing can you think to do than come out to the house of God on a Friday night? Huh? Better going out to the world and doing something, I think, because this is my life. God so changed me, this is all I live for. I can't, as David said in the Bible, he said, I can't wait. I was glad when I came, when I heard, let's go to the house of the Lord. I'm glad to come and see what God's going to do. It's so exciting when you're not religious. You come in the house and let the Holy Spirit have his will and way. Amen. He's a blessing. Amen. We're just yielding vessels and yield to the Spirit. Speak for him. Amen. The Word of God. Oh, hallelujah. We have Sunday service at 11 o'clock and at 6 o'clock. We will eventually go to Sunday school. But these are the services for right now. We're going to a morning service and evening service on Sunday. And God will bless you. Our church is a church of deliverance. Our church is definitely, so many people have been delivered of all kinds of things. And God has blessed them. It's a church of restoration. God gave you Isaiah chapter 61. He said he had anointed us to heal the brokenhearted, and he surely has. And God said he gives beauty for ashes. Our church is a church of healing, deliverance, and restoration. Come out and give God a try. Even if you're Christian and you need deliverance. And you need to get back on track for God. You need the fire of God. Come out and visit us. Because our church is, I'm telling you, the fire of God's there and the Holy Ghost is there. We send me people be blessed, all kinds of blessings to be restored. God wants to make you whole, that you can be whole and touch somebody else. Amen? Come out and visit us. Amen. We love God with all of our hearts. He's our very reason, reason for breathing and living and existing. Amen. We're not religious. We just have a relation with our Lord and we love Him. And we put Him where He belongs. Our priorities are right. Jesus gets first place and He's the center of our life. Amen. Come on out and let Him touch you and bless you. Amen. I promise you God will do something exciting and new in your life. I'm telling you, God's circumcising people's hearts in our church. That's the hardest thing to do because people won't let God touch their heart. But I'm telling you, the sword of the Spirit circumcises the heart in the church. Come out and visit us. Amen. I want to sing a little song here. Holy Ghost fire. Amen. Because that's truly what we need in the body of Christ again. Amen. Father, I pray we give you honor and praise tonight. We welcome you out. This is the Word of the Spirit of Life Church. Hallelujah. 6502 Vander Drive. This is the Word of Power Gospel Hour. And I pray God will bless the TV station. And I pray the Holy Spirit will touch you out there tonight. In your homes, in your living rooms, in your bedrooms. 
out of your hotel rooms, wherever you are. I pray the Holy Spirit and God's Word will be a blessing to you. That He would touch hurting people, meet your needs. Amen. Let's let the music minister to you and minister to the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, we pray you would anoint everything and touch many this night. In the name of Jesus. Those who have ears to hear, let us hear the voice of God tonight.
you, Lord. God loves you so much. God wants to breathe afresh on you and on us. God's doing a new thing in the earth. Jesus, people, I'm telling you, is getting ready to come back. If you don't know him, I'm telling you, I'm telling you somebody you need to know. It doesn't matter if you know the president of the United States. It doesn't matter what influential person you know. If you don't know Jesus in the end and never confessed him as Lord and Savior, you're not going to make heaven. And this preacher's here preaching the truth to you tonight. This is the gospel truth. If you don't know Jesus, I don't care if you know the Pope, if you know President Clinton, I don't care if you know the mayor, I don't care who you know, he can't save you because Jesus died for you personally. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 9, without the shame of blood, there is no remission, no forgiveness for sin. The Son of God was sent into planet Earth that died and shed his blood for you and me, people. And Jesus loves you tonight. The Bible says in Romans chapter 8, If God be for you, who can be against you? A lot of times people are. You're against yourself. Don't be against yourself tonight. Love yourself. you got to love yourself or you can love others. Don't overdo it. <laughs> Some of the people love themselves too much. It becomes arrogant and prideful. But you know what? you got to love yourself before you can love anybody else. And God wants to touch your heart afresh tonight and put some new love in it. Amen. God bless each and every one of you. We welcome you to the Word of Power Gospel Hour. God called this ministry and church to preach to this city. We've been on here going on five years, and I thank God He's kept us on here. Because we've spoken under the inspiration and under the anointing and by the revelation of the Word of God. And I pray He'll continue keeping us here. There will be a blessing unto you. Sometimes God doesn't always have good things to say, but if you'll humble yourself and repent when He calls you to repentance, some of you wouldn't have to be chastised and judged and come under the hand of God. Man, why be stubborn and hard-hearted? Take the easy route. You're going to come down, just like Paul. You know, on the road to Damascus, God knocked him off his high horse of pride. He said, he come tumbling off that horse. Yes, Lord! What do you want? Been trying to get a hold of him for years. <laughs> that says he was blinded, and he humbled himself. And he found out who Jesus was. There's some of you don't know Jesus yet. You know about him, but you don't know him. And he wants you to come to know him. Amen. He wants that personal relationship. Amen. He don't want to live a mass service anymore. God wants you coming from your heart. Amen. God bless every one of you. We love you. And we're here to preach the truth to you. And I pray you open your ears and hear tonight what the Spirit of God has to say. Amen. We have a good message for you tonight. Amen. Well, hallelujah. We welcome you again to the Word of Power Gospel Hour. This is the Word and Spirit of Life Church. Our address is 6502 Vander Avenue. If you'd like to come out and be a part of what God's doing. We need some musicians. We need people in the ministry for the work of the ministry. God sent, sent us some in. If you feel led of God and call to God, come out and visit us. Let the Holy Spirit be a blessing to you. Amen. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. If you come out the outer loop and go to Smyrna, make a right. The first street after you turn on Smyrna to the left, there's a blue building there. It's a cross from the Farmdale Christian Church. Ours is Word of Spirit of Life Church. Amen. We're just moving there in a new location. God's blessed us and give us two and a half times the room that we had. Hallelujah. I'm so thankful for what God is doing. Church, this is, I want you to know, just because other ministers say it, I know it. I'm finding out. I'm getting blessed. I'm receiving it. And I'm getting it from my God. This is our time for our thing from our God, even though other ministers are saying it. I know it. It's our time for God. It's our time to move on for our God. And it's our time to be blessed by our God. This is Jubilee. Oh, I can stand here and give you a testimonies for an hour of what God's blessing and pouring and restoring. You know, Jubilee is the year of liberty. God set his church free. People for years that couldn't get free that are religious are going to get delivered of them religious devils. Hallelujah. Glory. God set people free of religious mindsets. God's bringing his church in unity and love and the spirit. God's doing this thing. Man's not doing it. Man 
can't never do anything. He always fumbles up everything God tries to do. Amen. If we we'll just let God be God and be yielded to the Spirit, God can be God and God can be glorified. Amen. And I say that to you in love. We want to help God sometimes. We don't help him. We bumble up everything. We bumble up, mess it up. God's got to come along and straighten everything out again. And we sit around griping and complaining. Because we did our thing that God has straightened out. Amen. Are we all like that sometimes? I raise both my hands. <laughs> I'm learning to yield to God though. Amen. I just want to be full of his love and touch other people for him. They deserve to go to heaven. Listen, if you're saved today and you're sitting on them pews not doing nothing for God, you should be ashamed of yourself. I'm here to tell you, you need to repent. You should think about some other old poor soul out here in this world that don't know Jesus. You got your ticket if you're living right and walking with him. You're going to heaven. You should tell somebody else that they can enter into the kingdom of heaven too. Amen? Be a blessing. Reach others. Let's help populate the kingdom of heaven. I'm telling you what, the vision of the Father is the nations, the world. We're going back to the nations for God. I have been into some meetings in the nations, and we're going back. God is sending people back to the nations to save the world. God's vision is to harvest the world. And I tell you what, ministers and churches, if you hook up with God and get out there in that harvest field, the Bible says the laborers are few. The laborers are few, huh? The harvest is white, and the harvest is ripe. If you'll get back out there working for God again, He'll put every finance in your hands you need. If you don't use it for yourself and stuff, if you go out there and use it for the kingdom of God to populate it, let's get them out of hell and populate heaven. Hallelujah. There's many going to hell if we don't reach them and we should be ashamed of ourselves. I'm serious, church. I don't want to stand before the judgment seat of Christ and say, I didn't fulfill my calling. I knew to talk to that person and witness to them, but I didn't. And Lord, they went to hell, and you told me to. If you've done it, repent tonight and ask God to forgive you. Get back on fire for God. Get their witness again. Acts 1 8 said, You shall receive power if the Holy Ghost has come upon you. You shall be witnesses unto me. That's what the church is called to do to go to the nation, to teach them, to baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Deserve to do all the things Jesus taught them to do. We're to go out and preach the gospel to every creature. Hallelujah. Go into the nations. Hallelujah. We need to do the works that God called the church to do. I don't got time to go into all that. I have a limited amount of time. Hallelujah. Listen, I have a message here tonight. Hallelujah. And the name of this message is Seek Ye First the Kingdom of God and His Righteousness. Listen, I I'm seeing people in the world seeking everything. Money, stature, power, glory, wealth. They're, they're storing their treasures up on earth and not in heaven. The Bible says, Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust doth corrupt and where thieves break through and steal. In, in chapter uh, 6 of Matthew, in verse 19 it says, Lay up, but verse 20 says, Lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt and where thieves do not break in nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Where's your heart at tonight? Where is your heart tonight? Are you laying treasures up in heaven? Are you laying good works up in heaven to be rewarded at the end? Or at the end, have you laid all your treasures on earth? And you built you a mansion? You lived lavishly? And you was a Christian? And you lived the best life and never reached out to help anybody else? God's not pleased with that. Repent tonight. Your heart's not laid up in heaven. It's on earth. Amen? And God, I'm going to tell you tonight, it's not going to be long until Jesus is coming back. Amen? Hallelujah. It says right here, I'm going to tell you a little quick story about a man. The Bible said, laid up all his treasures in his barn. And he, and, and he kept getting all, the, all these, uh, yeah, feet, and he kept laying it up and laying it up. Had to tear down his barn and build bigger barns and laid all his treasures up. He kept laying all his fruit up and everything, and he had to keep tearing down his barn and build bigger barns and selfishly hoarded it to himself. And you know what? The Lord came to him in the night and said, because you have laid it up for yourself, it's going to cost you your life this night. Repent of that if you've done that. Lay your treasures up in heaven. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. All these things shall be added unto you. Oh, church, what we need again is
is to lay our treasures up in heaven again, to be about the works of the Father again, to do the works of the church, what the church is called to do. Amen. A lot have sat down and compromised, have sat down and they quit running the race. A lot of people have quit running the race. They're spectators, not participators. I don't want to be a spectator. I'd rather be a participator doing something wrong. At least I'm doing something for the kingdom of God. Because God, if I'm willing to do something to get me back on track doing the right thing, amen? Repent tonight and return and do the first works again. Over in Revelation chapter 2, I'm going to give you scripture here. People are seeking everything but God. They got more excuses than Carter's got liver pills. I'm a pastor. I hear it all the time. Well, I work, Pastor. Well, I work six days a week, and I'm in the house of God every time the door is open because my heart is, belongs to Jesus. He has me, spirit, soul, body, mind. He has every part of me. And you've got to love him. What the church needs is a good dose of his love again. Over in Revelation chapter 2, the church of Ephesus, down here in verse 5, it says, Remember, therefore, from whence thou art fallen. Many of you have lost your priorities. You're not seeking the kingdom of God anymore. His righteousness. You're seeking wives. You're running from church to church seeking a mate. You're seeking a, 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 a positions and everything. That's not the way it goes. You will never, never be promoted by God doing these things because that's flesh. And I'm going to tell you, it says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. God will add it to you. He'll give it to you if you're ready. Amen. And I'm here to tell you, people are seeking everything. They're seeking jobs. They're seeking this. If they seek God, God will open the door and bring the right opportunity. And the finances, the blessings right to them and across their path. It says, oh, here, remember from where they are fallen and repent and do the first works. Hallelujah. And he also said up here in verse 4, <laughs> Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee because thou hast left thy first love. He's not saying you don't love him anymore. What he's actually saying is you're putting other things before him. You see, some of us haven't lost our love for him. We just lost our work and love working for him. We lost our love about being about the Father's business. Do you understand what I'm saying? God loves you. And God knows you love him, but you're letting other things interfere. You're, you're putting other things first. Your priorities got wrong. God wants you to repent and get your priorities back right again. To love Him first. Put Him first. I guarantee if you're there every time the door's open, He'll bless you and make you a blessing. And you'll still have enough time to take care of your children and do everything that you have need to do. God is eternity. He can stretch time for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Many of us need to repent. What we need is a good dose of Holy Ghost. Love again. The Bible says over in the book of Romans, the love of God is shed abroad in our heart by the Holy Spirit. A lot of us need that love shed abroad in our heart again. And for our heart to be melted again and sensitive to the Holy Spirit and to God. Amen. Seek ye first the kingdom of God in his righteousness. Some people come to church with sin and they're in and out, in and out. And the devil's camp, God's camp, devil's camp, God's camp, the compromise and plan. This isn't the time to play church. You're going to be bounced off on one side or the other. You're going to be picked off the fence roll. I'm telling you something. The enemy's going to pick you off. Get in God's camp and stay in it. I'm here to tell you tonight. You play with the enemy. The Bible says Satan comes, John 10, 10. Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy. God loves you, but he can't bless you if you keep hopping out there and going back to the devil's camp and going back in them old ways. Amen? Because if you keep doing that, the enemy can pop and pick you off. It's time for us to get in the house of God and get right with God. Let Him touch our hearts. Send the Holy Ghost revival. This city needs revival, man. It's sin after sin upon sin. Precept upon precept. Sin is so thick in this city. It's almost like a tar battle. America's almost like a tar battle again. God's calling America back to repentance and to turn our hearts back to the living God. Amen. Let God touch you tonight. If you sought everything else but God, repent tonight. I want you to pray this prayer with me. I want you to pray this with me. And I believe God's going to reach through these airwaves and touch you wherever you're at tonight. Some of us need a fresh touch of the Holy Spirit. We need love in our heart again. We say we love God and we hate each other. The Bible says you're a spiritual murderer if you hate your sister or brother. You're a liar. God called you a liar and he said you're a murderer. You're as bad as a murderer. 
You gotta love each other in the body of Christ. It's a command and love people. Amen. I want to pray for you, okay? Father, I pray for every person that's been seeking other things except the kingdom of God. Father, I pray tonight that they repent, that you touch them. And fill them afresh with the Holy Spirit, that He'd be shed in their heart, God. Restore that first love. Circumcise our hearts again, Lord God. Be God in our lives. Help us get our priorities straight and right again, Father God. To love you and put you first, and everything else will fall in place. Father, we ask you to forgive us tonight. We've been complacent and lukewarm. God, let our fire burn again, Father. Help us get our priorities from back right, Father. Let that fire burn. Restore our first love again. That we can love you and love each other and love others, Lord. Father, I bless your holy name tonight. Thank you for touching people out there, Father God. That they're repenting, they're being healed, delivered, and restored. And set back on fire for God again. Seeking the kingdom of God and His righteousness first, Father God. We, God bless every one of you. you don't know Jesus, ask Him into your heart to be your Lord and Savior. He loves you. Find your church and get in and serve Him. You won't be sorry. I promise you. We'll see you in the next program. This is the Word of Power Gospel Arm. We love you. Come visit at our church, Word of Spirit Life Church, 6502 Vander Avenue. Amen. God bless you. Till next time. God bless you.